Hello everyone, Ace here, and today I need to provide a bit of a PSA, specifically to anyone who has actually tried to order one of the RTX 3000 graphics cards from NVIDIA. Because unfortunately, due to issues from NVIDIA's storefront, you may have actually been doxxed for your efforts. Now this particular bit of news actually came to my attention thanks to an article from Game Rant, written by one Sean Mackey, and simply titled, NVIDIA Store Appears to Leak Users' Email Addresses Payment Information. Now I should mention the fact that this article actually explains that this particular issue was given attention thanks to a Reddit post, which explained that the NVIDIA storefront was actually autofilling billing details, but the details that were being autofilled were not of the individual in question. In response to this, commenters confirmed that they too had similar experiences, showing that this was far from an isolated incident. Now it does at least appear that NVIDIA, to their credit, did actually take action relatively swiftly upon hearing this news as the problem seems to have since been rectified. But unfortunately, that does not take away the fact that the people that already tried to order an NVIDIA graphics card this year have quite possibly been inadvertently doxxed in the process. And it wouldn't exactly be difficult to see people becoming furious over this as well, especially with all the other problems being associated now with the RTX 3080 and RTX 3090. The fact that there's this many major controversies surrounding these cards in just such a short amount of time is almost impressive in the sheer incompetence on display. And if I couldn't blame people in my last video for not wanting to actually buy an RTX this year, then this news is enough to make me say I can't really blame someone if they just simply refuse to buy an NVIDIA graphics card ever at this point. After all, if anything, this shows that NVIDIA lacks the competence necessary to actually be trustworthy with your personal information. Even though they have appeared to fix the problem, I'm not exactly comfortable with the idea of recommending you guys to go check out their storefront right now. And I suppose I could go on with regards to this topic, but that would pretty much be beating a dead horse by this point. So instead, I'll simply end this video by stating that I will of course be providing links in the description below in case you guys are at least curious in checking out the news article as well as the Reddit post, but in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.